<laughs> on the Tempe. <laughs> right, Chris. Okay. Either side. Yeah, any side you like. And on the other, right, uh, any number you like. Let me get you to draw a picture on the two two P as well. Uh, draw draw one of your designs. <laughs> Try and recreate it. <laughs> uh, well, it'd be worth more than ten two P. Spot, that's, it, that's fine. That's great. Okay, so we've got 172 and uh, well, a little face. Cool, Hold your hand there. <laughs> Put the coins in your hand. Put your hand over the top. That's good. Stay just there. Right, choose one. Do you want the 2 or the 10? The 10. Okay, <laughs> stay just there. It's going to feel a little bit strange, but don't worry. Now, you don't have to lie to make me look good, just be honest. You can actually feel like a column of warmer air between my hands. If I take my hands away, you'll see it goes colder. But just the energy, just from the warm air, you can feel that. Which coin did you say? 10p. 10p. Stay just there. Tempe. So on the 10p, you put your name and the number 172, yeah? Exactly, yeah. Did I go in there at all? No, 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 no. Look at the 10p. <laughs> Ooh. Look at it. Oh, scary. Check it out. Just lift up your hand. Okay. Look at the 10p. <laughs> David gave me um, a ten pence. Um, I put my initials on that, and then he gave me a two pence, and I drew a picture on that, which was really bad. Um, and then he put both of them in my hand, and put my other hand on top, so it's completely sealed in. And then he did all these magical moves. So I could really feel the, 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 the heat coming on. And then he asked me to choose. I wanted the one with my signature or the one with the picture, so I chose the one with the signature. And out of the two coins, the one with my signature, when I opened my hand, it was bent. It was melted. It was unbelievable. Well, I was actually in more than sore. I actually took part in, uh, and witnessed firsthand, as a, so to speak. Yeah. I had two coins in my hand, which I'd uh, written on. So. They were the same you coins. Written on them with the pen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wrote my name and a number, and then they, it was my handwriting when it went in, and a handwriting when it came, and I released my hand. And what happened? He asked me which coin I wanted to choose, the two p or the ten p, out of the two I had in my hands together. Right. I said the ten p. Um, I could have said the two p. Of course. Did something happen to the ten p? The ten p bent. Yeah, yeah. It when I open my hand, the ten p is literally con convex or convex. concave, depending on which convex. side you look at it. And was it bent when it went into your hands? No, no. it wasn't, because I wrote on it. I'd have seen if it was. That's what I thought. Now well, maybe he, you know, he, so, he'd influenced me not to even look at it before and just consider it as a normal ten p when it was yeah. already bent. But I would have seen. I, I would have written on a curved surface. I'd have known. Quite extraordinary, isn't it? I'd have known, yeah. So and he didn't touch me. He didn't touch. He didn't take it out of my hand. And if he had, how could he have written on it anyway? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, that was the that same coin. <laughs> Here's the uh, two coins I had in my hand. I, yeah. wrote, I drew this picture. I wrote my name and the number. That's great. Thanks very much, Chris. And the yeah. magician put his energy between. And bent them. I've got them below my hand. It's incredible.